Here we The garden. Mr. Vice President, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hey, Vice Pres? I just want you to know that I tried to stop her, okay? Banquet from hell. That's what it is to me, at least. Oh, come on. Don't give him the wrong idea. I just wanted to put on a party. That's all. <laughs> That's what I mean. I can't stand this party business. You got any idea how exhausting that sounds? Makes my skin crawl. Well, you're not the one we're celebrating, so hush. Please. All that rabble-rousing would be more of a curse than a celebration. Oh dear, I can't hear you all of a sudden. Did you say something? Alas, no. Twas mayhaps your imagination, milady. Anyway, we may still be cut off from the outside, but the mist on campus has cleared up for the most part. Thanks to the TSC, the majority of our problems aren't problems anymore. So I figured we could lighten the mood and celebrate a little. Everything's been so gloomy lately, you know? What do you think? Sounds great, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew you'd be up for it, Mr. Vice President. If only that grumpy old doc would follow your lead. Hey, Grumpy, I'll give you, but leave my age out of this. Now that the major areas on campus are clear, we should shake things up with a little party. No need to worry about the other buildings. I'm sure you'll get them all sorted out in time. Time isn't going to be the solution to every problem, you know? Oh dear, I can't hear you all hmm. of a sudden. Did you say something? Alas, no. Twas mayhaps your imagination, my lady. I heard from Dr. Kakeru that you have some things to take care of, don't you? You're headed for the old dormitory, right? Yeah, boy. Make sure to check in with Chio before you go. And once you get back, we'll have a party with everyone else. Be careful out there, you hear? Mm hmm Never would have guessed the pa- Geogin. Hey, Nozomi. What do you do on your days off? No, she doesn't. 
So this is the old dorm, huh? No. It looks pretty clean for a place that's been locked up for eight years. Gramps used to live here. It gets me kind of emotional. My Gramps graduated from this academy. That's why I came here in the first place. If I hadn't, I'd have never gotten this power. Man, I'd never have met you. Hell, that goes for every one of you guys. All in all, I don't regret the choice I made. Now come on, let's go investigate that mist. number connects to the singularity where's my thanks for all my charity
You're looking pa- There's no way out. If there is, I can't find it. Where am I? What year is it? There's number two. We break one more after this, we take out the pack bearer of greed. And after that...
Hey, Mr. VP. Why'd you pick me to come along? I don't know. Cause you are strong. <laughs> well, ain't that an honor? It's not like I hate you. Hell, I owe you one. You can count on me to watch your back. But don't get soft just because I'm here. <laughs> I can't promise I'll always be there to fight by your side. You're gonna have to be able to handle things yourself. Especially if we end up having to fight each other. <laughs> if either of us goes out, it better be with a bang. Let's go. Let's go, Rio Taro. It's meeting time. Here I go. Ha! Here I come. Hot is a bit. Here I come. 
You're mine. Or you're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Injustice to combat injustice. Madness to disrupt madness. <clears throat> Enough power to distort the very laws of nature and reclaim everything I have lost. The power to restore everything to how it was and to keep it that way forevermore. The power to give meaning to all the time spent shedding tears of regret. Time spent wishing, lamenting, resenting. If only, if only, if only, I'll obliterate the despair I suffered then. The despair that stole you from me. I'll destroy the emptiness I've felt ever since. The emptiness that stole what was left. I will prevail over this cruel and irrational world. The power to distort time and space itself. To bend them against all rhyme and reason. The power to not only revert loss, but to negate it entirely. To turn these if-onlys into reality. It's a necessity. I can't see it any other way. With this power, I will return to that place in time. With power comes great responsibility. Okay. Bumper of greed. Yeah. <laughs> Your answer's a miss, though almost accurate. Uh, Don't think uh, your brain uh, into a huff. Uh, You'll see it yourself uh, soon uh, enough. Thank you for inviting me, Dr. Shironeko. Of course! You're our behind-the-scenes guy. It's all thanks to you that life runs so smoothly here. We could say the same for you, Dr. Shironeko. Thank you for saving so many of our Dr. students. Dr. Shironeko. No, no! I only did what anyone else would have. Besides, helping those in need is part of my job. You truly are the pride of our academy. Who, <laughs> me? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Ah, uh, bro, I am. And you're an excellent cook as well. You go, would you care for some of this too? No, I couldn't eat another bite. Oh, you're no fun. What happened to my gourmand of a husband? The past is the past. We're both getting up there in years. Huh. <sighs> oh, but you're still as beautiful as ever, Sora. <laughs> Stop it, you. You're making me blush like a schoolgirl. Watch. Literally. <laughs> mm. 
You might be the next pack bearer on the list. Yet look at you stuffing your face away. I'm almost impressed. <gasps> You're just like a maggot. Low brain mass and a bottomless <laughs> stomach. Piss off, man. Can't you drop the emo act for once? This is a party. I don't want to hear this while I eat. Or didn't your parents teach you any manners? Excuse me? You're dead. Shinya! Hey! You're wasting food! Wait! We are Taro! Kokoro, you've got whipped cream on your mouth. How careless of me. My hands are full. I will require assistance. Perhaps I could petition the vice president to... I'll get it for you. Ow, you're going to scrub my lips off. Oh, don't be so dramatic. I'll make sure to scrub you nice and clean. <gasps> She's smiling, but not with her eyes. They all seem to be having fun. You sure you don't want to join them, Vice Press? <laughs> hey, save your pity for someone who asked. Mm. You know, now that I think about it, I've been meaning to say something to you. What? Good work out there, really. Yeah, You're the right. reason we've restored any semblance of peace here. Tell me something, Vice Prez. If all this chaos ever ends and we can go home again, what's the first thing you want to do? Huh? You and Chio, huh? You've got your priorities straight. No going back on your word, got it? I want to get out of here just as much as you. I made a promise with my brother, too. A promise from back when he got into high school. Said I'd take him on a trip to celebrate, but long story short, things just didn't pan out that way. I always thought I'd be able to make it up to him later on, but well, Life is full of twists and turns. Seeing you and your sister, it really reminds me of me and my little bro. Not that you and us are anything alike. Sorry, I didn't mean to make things all heavy. Guess this ain't the right time or place. Let's change the subject. How about romance? I've got... Whoa. What was that? It came from the infirmary. Sora, don't you think I should check out the infirmary? I am the school doctor, after all. It's kind of my home turf. Perhaps. But you seem so terribly worn down, Doctor. Oh, and we can't have doctor. that. Uh, couldn't you have picked a better time and place to show up? 
be absurd, Dr. Kakeru. Of course I can't. I'm not you, after all. The reason I'm here is simply to say good night. Good night? I'm not sure what loop you're on now, but if I'm correct, something should be shattering soon. It's clear I can't count on you any longer. I won't abide you getting in the way of my precious child. <gasps> it's a cruel, irrational world. No matter what time or place you decide on, the night will always come. I'm in the infirmary what in the world happened in then um. what's going on whatever I did I'm sorry can I go home now nah. uh. are we in the infirmary good then but why Sumire, are you okay? Huh? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Mass delirium? Mr. Hugo, can you give me a hand? I'd like to get some medical supplies from the storage room. But of course. The rest of you, keep them in bed and calm them down. Got it. Now, problem solved. Ryotaro, you used your authority, didn't you? It's fine. I only took a little stamina. Uh. It's not gonna hurt him. Besides, it calmed them down, didn't it? Nah, bro. Sora, the Pact Bearers are conscious. That's <sighs> all right. Oh. Are you all right? You don't look well. Yes, I'm fine. I just had a short dizzy spell when I left the classroom. Now that you mention it... Huh? He was just here! He's a doctor! Where could he possibly be going at a time like this? Indeed. Did he get lost somehow? Indeed. From there to here? No way. That's right. He's not like someone else we know. Huh? They are? 
I don't hear anything. Ringing. <sighs> Nobody move. Bearer's authority. Greed, most likely. Its power was of an immense scale. But don't worry. I barely managed to defend against it, thanks mostly in part to you. It's amazing that you noticed something so minute. Even I almost overlooked it. I protected this area from the authority's influence, so we should be fine. A Pact Bearer's authority? Then that means... There's a very good chance something's happened outside. We should check outside the infirmary. <sighs> um. Oh my goodness! Miss Zora! Nozomi! Chio? There are so many people here! No, da. And how did these beds fill up so fast? Dr. Nako? What the hell are you going on about? Um, Ryotaro, right? Just look at all the people in the infirmary. Who wouldn't be surprised? But forget that. Look outside. There's this weird dome thing around the academy. Huh? I... You mean the barrier? Why are all of you so calm about this? The rest of the Academy is freaking out. This is an emergency. Dr. Shiro Neko, please, calm down. I have some questions for you. You said the Academy has been covered by some sort of dome, but do you remember when that happened? When? Just now. What's going on here, Ms. Sora? Oh God. I apologize, but now's not the time. May I ask you to take care of the patients, Dr. Shiro Neko? Uh, huh? I mean, sure, but... This is all so sudden. You forget. Members of the TSC, for now I ask that you please return to the spare classroom. I took a look around the building. But it's just as Dr. Shironeko said. At this point in time, the barrier has only just appeared around the Academy. Um, which means... Did we... Go back to the past or something? Mm. Regrettably, Yes. Unbelievable. Is there anything authorities can't do? This defies all logic. Such a power is beyond reason. They've got conditions and limitations, but depending on how you use them, you can basically be unstoppable. Controlling time's the kind of power you can't even fight. Not usually, anyway. Well, I didn't notice anything. Are we sure we've traveled through time? They say that if you encounter yourself in another timeline, you'll create a paradox and vanish. I don't want that to happen to me. Are we going to make it through this? There was no sign of those who were inside the infirmary, myself included, on the academy grounds. Phew. This isn't likely to be a power that creates another timeline or a parallel dimension. Evidently, it interferes with the target's time, 
controlling and rewinding their responses to physical phenomena. Aside from the infirmary, everywhere else was wound back to just before the barrier appeared. <sighs> a power with such a substantial effect on the world must also take a massive toll on its pact bearer. It shouldn't be possible to carry out large-scale temporal manipulation like this consecutively. As it only targeted the Academy grounds, the ideals within the other world should still be destroyed. You should use this opportunity to shatter the final ideal and render the Pact Bearer of Greed powerless. The corresponding mist should be somewhere within the old dormitory. Hey guys, Mr. Bunny doesn't help. On the next Bucky, episode, Bucky, 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 fly into the.